feeding into our core business, it's actually additive. And that's, you know, great news. Now, I don't think it's going to be additive for every single player and every single niche and every single piece, but if you have a good value proposition on each platform, consumers will still come and still use it. So I think the key is keeping your value proposition clear to that consumer on that platform and then, you know, making sure that, 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 that they know about it, they can consume it, it will, it will maintain. Um, and I also did believe that the, the frag, what we're in the middle of is a fragmentation of the audience into more and more subsets. Right? And while that books very probably poorly for the big broadcast networks because they were built on this whole idea of you know, bigness and, and scale and, and how to sell that, for folks that are more targeted, most of the cable spectrum, you know, certainly streaming networks like our then for the content that we own and distribute, that is sometimes what I consider large niche programming. Uh, it's really good. We can actually find new outlets that have actually found that audience already. So it's sort of your previous question about these new startups that have this one piece, that, that's good for us. We have a now we can actually go find that audience more clearly. They don't have to come find us. So that we're in the middle of this fragmentation where people, you know, it's a harder job for us to figure out where they all are, but once we find them, we probably can uh, make as much, if not more, money from